Oh, that is gross. There's snot all over the inside of this bag. I got it. This looks like a gallows. Oh, this is creepy. I should take a picture of that, but it's too far away. Help me move this desk. What do you hope to gain by moving this? Trust me, Duckmeister. <sighs> this seems like it's the right height. I am no longer a young man. I, I don't think I could climb that far. You are going to have to do it. These look like something out of a medieval torture chamber. I should look for more. Tony, don't keep us in suspense. Please, let us in. Tony, are you in there? Are you all right? I'm coming, hold on. And presto, the door is unlocked. I can see the rope clearly now. I should take a picture. Perfect. That's no dentist chair. Let's see what else we could find. Hey, here's a safe. Time to crack this baby. Bingo. A vial. The toilet tank. Good place to hide stuff. Almost got it.
there's something in the toilet. And here's another vial. Though whatever was inside doesn't appear to be the same These as... These could be indicative of forced injections. You might want to keep your eyes open for syringes or serum vials. Nice, Tony. Can you check with Ducky and see if he needs any help? A claw hammer. I got it. Boss, this place is straight out of a horror movie. Someone was torturing people here. Now maybe this will give us the leverage to examine Husker's body. Get back to the base. Doing better today. I'm already at number three. Good for you. Doc, autopsy. You started? Will they allow me to see the body yet? Vance is pulling the strings right now. Go get ready. All right, I'm on my way. Wait, how many cups has he had? I cannot say for certain, though I believe he has just finished number four.
What do you have to tell us today, young man? Dead men really do tell tales. You just have to know how to listen. You, my poor friend, were never really given a chance. The victim has telltale signs of early stage thyroid cancer, most likely caused by repeated exposure to radioactive material. It wasn't the cause of death, and I suspect the poor man didn't even know he had it. But whatever the commander was doing, but despite the evidence, it was not the blow to the head that killed the poor man. His ultimate demise was cardiac arrest. This particular choice in body art is not something I have come across before. Of course, many sailors have some sort of tattoo on their bodies, and this one has elements that remind one of many other US naval-inspired self-branding marks. But it is entirely... Our captain obviously suffered massive head trauma. There are bruises and telltale wounds on his skull that suggest he was bludgeoned by a heavy object. The suspicious needle entrance on the man's back makes me think there is something we're missing. The cancer we found is consistent with what you've told me about his mission history. But cardiac arrest, especially for a man of the captain's relatively young age and high level of fitness, is quite unusual. I've sent samples of his blood to Abby for testing. Keep up the good work, Doc. The substance in Husker's blood is succinylcholine. In small doses, it is used to induce muscle relaxation. In larger doses, it can be lethal. It's Abby. I just finished the tests on Captain Husker's blood. I found high levels of a toxin known as succinylcholine. In much smaller doses, it's used as a muscle relaxer, commonly used to induce paralysis for tracheal surgery. All right. Let's do another deduction board. Let's see what we can find. What does that mean, Abs? Well, Gibbs, it works like this. Husker's cause of death was definitely poison, not blunt force trauma or cardiac arrest. This was premeditated, cold-blooded murder. Now we just need to know why. I'm way ahead of you. Working on the evidence you sent me now.
Gotcha, you little bugger. The fingerprints on these instruments belong to Captain Husker. Captain Husker was into something more than a little bondage. He was into full-on torture. The substance in this file is sodium pentothal, truth serum. Fingerprints can tell a lot of stories. These are going to tell us who our killer is. Why would Dr. Marx be at the torture facility? The substance in this vial is succinylcholine, a highly toxic poison. Why does it not surprise me to find traces of a rare poison twice in one day? Gibbs, I found the same rare poison that killed Captain Husker in one of the vials from the torture facility. Those two are a long way apart. How did it get to both places? Deduction board. Let's see what we can find. Why don't you explain it to me, Abs? 
Well, Gibbs, it works like this. So now it's clear. Oscar was torturing people for information, and Dr. Marks was somehow involved. Then something went wrong between the two of them, and she poisoned him. Worried she'd get caught, she tried to frame the acting CO, Commander Primus. He's probably long gone by now. McGee, need to find the doctor. I'm already on it. McGee? How long have you been on the line? I'm always on the line. <laughs>